Hi guys, Ricky here. So today I want to make an update on all my tanks. Um, a lot, a lot of things have changed in my planet tanks. But first, let's actually start with the reef tank. Reef tank hasn't really changed at all. I haven't really gotten anything new. Still the green star polyp. Nothing really too new on this tank. The portal still hasn't opened up today. I just turned on the lights right now. So right here, you may see that I changed Aquascape completely. It's probably not the best aquascape because I kind of just got rocks from my backyard and sticks. But I, I thought it looked alright. I also updated the filtration. I used to have a sponge filter right here. And now I got... I attached the sponge filter to this right here. Now I don't know if in the last video I actually showed y'all the new LEDs I got. But I got these really nice LEDs. They were like $20 for this 24 inch model. Which was a really good deal. And they're pretty bright. The plants seem to be growing pretty good with that LED. And all the shrimp are doing pretty good. They've been growing pretty pretty well. Yeah. I moved a lot of the plants and moved them around. And I'll show you why I did that in just a moment. And I'll show you the 125 gallon and how it's changed. I've aqua skipped it as you've probably seen by the title of the video. And I have a few fish that we're going to open up and put in the tank. So now this tank is the, probably the future beta fish tank. Right now I just have the tri I changed it completely as well. It isn't really the nicest aquascape. I'll probably get some new plants and maybe more rocks. I want to do like a little island thing. And here's a little trap that I couldn't find in the last video. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I hatched him from a little egg. He was the only one that hatched from the kit, but he's he's pretty cool. I really like him. He's an albino cacriformis tri -up. Right now he's about an inch long, including his tail. I thought he'd go up a little bigger. Maybe he's still growing. But he's been doing pretty good. Hopefully he lays eggs and I can start a new batch of triops. So yeah, that's that's the update with these tanks right here. Now let me show you all the 125. So here's the 125 gallon. As you can see, I've already filled it up with water and aquascaped it. Right now I don't have the lights on because I got these new fish and I don't want to stress them out. I'll turn it on later so, so I can see it better once we introduce the fish. Because it starts jumping like crazy in there. So I got this little uh, artificial driftwood right here. It's something I already had, so I just decided to put it in there. So as you can see, a lot of the rocks that are in here, they were from my shrimp tank. And a lot of the plants are from the shrimp tank as well. And I got these black these black rocks to line up in the middle. I thought it looked pretty good. And I got some pool filtration sand. And here's the Amazon sword. It's been doing pretty good. And I have lots of water wisteria in the front. I'm probably going to be adding something such as dwarf hair gas or some sort of carpeting plant, but I'm not sure if my light's strong enough to support that type of plant. I got I got this LED right here. It's a six foot LED. I got it for about $65. And for my filtration, I have this marine land, the bio wheel 350, which is pretty bad for my filtration. I probably need this big canister, but I'm probably going to be getting a second one. I thought it'd be good for now since I have lots, I'll be getting lots of plants and they'll, they'll be doing some pretty good filtration and at the moment I don't really have a lot of fish in here. Not a, not any right now, but I'm about to add them. And then I have added this power head. I'm not sure if, it, I feel like it's too much flow. It's rated at 1300 gallons per hour. I'm not sure if that's too much here, but I'm I'm not actually sure if, the, if that's actually true. And then I have this 200 watt heater, which probably isn't enough either. But I'll be getting a bigger one soon. I just got it for now temporarily so that so I can get some fish in here. So yeah, that's I've been really liking the 125. And let's add some fish. So I got some Gura three dwarf guramis. I think they're flame guramis. I'm not sure what what exactly they are. Um yeah, it's these guys right here. Let me open up the bag I'll be back okay so I turned the tanks light on so y'all can see how it looks like with the lights on the lights are pretty bright they're really nice prices it said they were $65 for a six foot light so if y'all want some they'll be on Amazon this one's a beams work LED but yeah we were about to I got the fish right here so I actually got a three dwarf guramis and I got 15 black skirt tetras and I got two small little Bolivian rams. Hopefully they'll all do good. I'll plan on getting more fish in the future. 
But actually, I wanted to tell y'all something that ha really cool that happened at the, at the store I got them from. I got them from PetSmart, as you can see from the bag. So actually, I got the 15 the 15 black skirt tetras for free. Because, as you can see, they have a little number that they type in to the cash register. And here's the one for the 15, 15 black skirt tetras. The lady at the register didn't see this part right here. She only saw... I guess she only saw these two, and she was. I think she was covering this part with her hand, so she only counted. She only charged me for the Bolivian Rams and the three Lord Ferrami, so I saved about twenty bucks because the black skirt tetras were a dollar each. But I, that, I, got, I was really happy about that. I got them f for free. I just noticed that once we were in the car. But yeah, here's here's the fish. They're all getting a little scared, Gorami. So yeah, this should be acclimated by now. Um, I'll be back. Let me get a net real quick so we can take out that water. Okay, so I got the net. So let's just, I'm going to take him out. I want to, I want to try not to introduce any of the water. It's going to be a little hard trying to multitask with my phone in one hand and that in the bag. Okay, let's try and get them out. This is a little hard. Okay. So we got a few fish in there. Hopefully they don't jump out. Let's introduce them in their new home. Hopefully that's not too, the filters the i mean the power heads hopefully that's not too much flow for them hopefully it's just it's just right if it's not i'm probably gonna turn it off and just get rid of it it was only nine dollars actually the power head so that was a pretty good deal on amazon introducing the fish okay we're just missing these black skirt tetras here we got a few more one bolivian ram we're missing i think they'll be pretty happy in here and if you guys have any ideas for what other fish I could get, please give them in the comments because I'm sure plenty of more fish to still fit in here. And what I'm what I'm planning on doing is probably lots of different schools of fish. I think that'll look really cool. And a few centerpiece fish. I'm planning on getting some angel fish, but the ones that they had at the pet smart I went to weren't really the nicest. So I'll probably go to my local fish store and get some angel fish from them. They have some bigger varieties of angels and some kois which look really nice so I'm gonna probably go there maybe tomorrow but pretty soon hopefully and I'll get some more fish but this will do for now okay so that uh, that looks like it was it so the fish look like they're separated since it's a pretty big tank okay let me dispose of the bag real quick and I'll show you how the fish okay and we're back so here's the tank you uh, unfortunately you can't really see any fish because they're all hiding in the back they're pretty scared but hopefully they'll they'll come out let me see if we can find some of the fish They've kind of separated, as I said, because the tank's pretty long and they'll get lost in here easily. So here we have three black skirt tetras. They seem to be lost from the rest of the school. Dwarf Gurami, he's hiding the plants. I heard that they like being in planted tanks, so that's good. But he seems to be a little stressed out too because he's hiding in there. And I saw the rest of the fish were back here behind this big rock. I, yeah, I see a Bolivian ram in there. Little Bolivian, Dwarf Gurami. Yeah, hopefully they'll get settled in fast. I'll provide an update video on all the fish soon. Here's, you can see some of the tetras. Let's see if we can see them maybe from up here. Yeah, we can see some of them. I wish they would come out so we can see them school. Oh, there they go. Perfect. Oh, that's a, that's, that's funny. The Bolivian rams are actually following them. Yeah, that, that looks really cool. Hopefully they'll, once they get established in a tank, they'll, they'll get I'll have a pretty nice school. So here's a Bolivian ram. I have two of them. Here's the other one. So that's interesting how it's schooling with the rest of the other fish. And uh, the other dwarf Grammy seems to... Oh, there it is. And here's the other three black skirt tetras, which hopefully they'll find the rest of the pack. Here's the old, another blue dwarf Grammy. So we have this one over here and this one back here. I don't know where the other one went. I guess he's probably hiding somewhere behind the rocks. And one black skirt tetra, I don't know if y'all can see it. Behind the plants, it stayed back there. But yeah, overall pretty happy with all these fish and how the 20, 125 gans turning out. So here's all the fish. Hopefully they'll school, as I said later, oh, I want them to swim in open water. That'll look really cool. And they'll find the rest of the school, of the other fish. And we can hopefully get lots of other types of fish, which will look pretty damn cool. So, yeah, that's... Oh, Dorf Grammy.